material girl. I am. A material girl. <laughs> Trying to decide what color to get. <laughs> I'm trying to decide how many. Mm. <laughs> I got four colors. I got gray, sapphire, sapphire, and royal purple. And hopefully with these four I can make like a dusty blue. We'll see. I have a lot of fabric to dye, like 12 yards. So we'll see how this goes. So before I dye the real fabric, I'm going to do a little test to see if the color works out and hope for the best. Hopefully I can get the right color I want and hopefully I have enough dye because I don't want to go to the store again. That might be too much. Gray. I'm just going to do like a little tiny bit. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Is this too purple? Darn. Maybe we should have gotten like rain. What if you just didn't put the purple in? I didn't put the purple in. Oh, that's enough purple? <laughs> that's this. With a little <laughs> bit of this. With like a splash. Gray. The gray will make it more purpley. I need it to be more green. Green? Look at that. That's literally purple. What I'm saying is I, they have like the lighter color blue. I think I need to go in and get like a lighter blue. This is not okay. Nar. Nar. So, test number one turned out way too freaking purple. That's literally just purple. I don't know how I got purple when I used this. I didn't even open the purple. Let's see. The cap is still on. <laughs> Yet somehow this mixture was it maybe the gray? The thing would be not be. We do one more time without the gray. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do. Mm. Motherland. Okay, we are back. This time with three more dyes. Hopefully, these ones will make it less purple and more greeny. So, I'm just gonna take the dye bed that I already have and just put a little bit of this into it and hopefully get the right color. This is like half empty. Elsa. Elsa. Elsa! Elsa! Elsa? Come here! What? Look at this. It's like half empty. Like the brain? I'm going to be using two fabrics because she has the collar and the thing plus the skirt and I'm dyeing both so I have the matte satin for the collar and thing and I have the chiffon for the skirt and the matte satin needs to be a bit lighter and let that sit in there for a bit longer. So it's a bit lighter once it's you know rinsed off so I'll probably leave it in a bit longer but I think that color is pretty good and hopefully this turns out good too. Okay this is the chiffon, this is the matte satin, and I'm just gonna do the real thing, even though I don't think it's perfect. It will work. It will work. Yeah, okay, 
So the first thing we're gonna do is pre-wet this fabric. I don't know why you're supposed to do this. I just know you're supposed to do it. So yeah. And then I think we have five things to dye. So I'm just going to use all five and hope that it's enough dye because I don't want to go out to the store for a third time. So we're just gonna dump it all in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous. I need a big, huge wooden no. stick like a witch or something. Uh oh, this is kind of light. Ow! Hot! I'm gonna have to re dye this again. It's gonna be like $50 of dye. This is too big of an undertaking for me. Look at this. This is like freaking white. Right. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't blow. Right here. I didn't blow. I didn't mean. That what looks blue to me. What I meant is it doesn't look. Quite. Yeah, but it's way too light. I'm not spending a hundred dollars on dye. I might have to just give this project up. Mom, Mom, I can't just keep buying dye. Because then once you rinse it out and dry it, it's gonna be like freaking, it's gonna be white. What are they doing all the time? Last time we dumped it into the drain. So looking at the color of it just from its initial dump, it's just way too light. Like I know it hasn't been in there very long, but I don't think it's going to get much darker since it is polyester. I couldn't get the fabric very hot because I don't have any way to like boil it. So I was hoping for the best, but I do not want to spend like $100 on dye. I'm annoyed. So we'll see. I'll let this sit for a while. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I kind of feel like a failure because it's not really working. It's just straight up purple. And I don't understand why. I The only colors I used were sapphire blue and Kentucky blue, which are very blues, blue blues, and it's purple. And I don't know what to do. And I don't wanna keep buying more and more fabric dye because it's expensive. So I'm just gonna take it out and dry it and then go from there and see how it looks. And maybe I'll just make like a more purple dress than a green dress so yeah i don't know <sighs> okay so it's the next day and i was being a bit dramatic yesterday about the whole situation <laughs> because i think it actually ended up turning out okay i'll show you the fabric and i'm gonna make it work i think it's still a little purple but I don't know. I think that it will be fine and I'll end up liking it. So let me show you. That's how it is. It's kind of periwinkle, but I don't hate it. And my cat snagged it. So I don't know. I think it's going to work. And I was watching some clips of the movie and the dress does really change colors a lot depending on the lighting of where she is. And so I think it's going to be fine looking at it like this. It's like pretty good. I can imagine it. I think what's throwing me off was the fabric I had for the bodice, which the lighting's not good. But it's kind of like a green blue and this is a purple blue. So together, I don't know. Actually, that kind of looks good. So I think I might just change out the bodice fabric because this fabric, I don't know. I think it's good. So yeah, I was really dramatic yesterday and it's funny watching it back because I get defeated easily. So yeah, this was a success. And I hope you liked this video and stay tuned for future videos about this dress. I'm really trying to work on my YouTube channel more. So yeah, subscribe if you're not and come back because the next step will be starting the actual dress and I'm really, really excited for it. I'm actually making a color changing one right now over on Instagram and TikTok. So definitely go follow me over there if you haven't already because it's turning out fantastic and I'm not getting any footage of it for YouTube. Also, if you're looking to dye fabric of your own, I will link the fabric dye that I've been using in the description box below. I know I had some trouble with it, but it really is a great fabric dye. It's pretty affordable. It's about $5 for each little 
thingy and I use it all the time. I dye fabric all the time and I really, really, really recommend it. So you can get it in any fabric store or on Amazon. So yeah, go check out that link below if you want to dye some of your own fabric. And I've also linked some of my other favorite products and products that people ask me about all the time, such as the sewing machine that I use, the serger I use, the hoop skirt I have, and all that other sort of thing. So if you want to shop what I use every day, then go click the links below.